Okay, uh, got some Columbus hops here. Um, let's taste them out. Let's see what they're all about here. It says on the package that they're spicy, earthy, mostly used for bittering, but they are dual purpose and not too much grapefruit like, specifically a Cascade, they said. So it's like Cascade, but it's not like Cascade. Kind of what they're saying. So, 15.3% elf acid. Little background here, so I can tell it. So it's uh, not as dark green as the glacier was. It does smell similar. Uh, these are in the cannabis family. So there may be some familiar aromas going on here, so definitely with this and the glacier. So that's what they mean by dank. They really mean it smells like indica. Okay, so all right. Okay, it takes a minute to kick in. Much like the glacier, we're getting not nearly as mossy, definitely a more of a, a burn, more a spicy burn, mossy, planty, a harsh sourness. Oh, there's a bit of grapefruit in the back. This is on pellet form. Typically, typically, you put pellets in, they give you more alpha acid than the whole cone per ounce. Wowzers brain. Whoa. Spicy is right. Whoa. Wow. Bit of fruitiness there. A kind of a grapefruit all underneath, but with a spiciness and the earthiness right on top. A little more earthiness than the peatiness. The glacier I found was more peaty than earthy, but earthy's kind of weird because I don't eat much dirt, but it does kind of taste like, I guess, like a clay or whatever. Um, not big into eating dirt, but I do like earthy. How about... How about Tell my mouth's not made, blah, 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 you know. Okay, so <laughs> that was great. Uh, great flavor in that one. I, I was saying if you're if, uh, if using just a straight uh, bittering hop, like I said, with the Bravo, it didn't have a whole lot of flavor. I'm going to do your earlier editions with the Bravo, and this and the later editions. So I have my recipe planned out. So that's one reason I'm tasting these, and I think I may as well make a record uh, for a uh, resource for everyone to use and myself. <coughs> wow. Nice burn. Actually, very nice uh, high alpha acid hop. I, I really I really think this is... Uh, I, I think I prefer this over the Bravo. The Bravo was just extreme bitterness. That's it. I think I'm going to change it around. Since the alpha acids are about the same anyway, I'm just going to gain a little more alpha acids because my, my goal is to get much above 100 IBU in a double uh, black IPA. Uh, right now, I'm shooting at, at least 126 IBUs and... That's before any dry hopping, which doesn't not supposed to add to IBUs. I think IBUs is just the straight bitterness. Doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get more hop flavor. I think that just means you can't get any more hop bitterness. Uh, so 
I'm aiming for a very, oh wow, this would make a great double IPA. I mean, what I'm tasting now is, is this is perfect for double IPA. Absolutely perfect. So I'm glad that I have it. I got two ounces. I'm going to switch things around. I think I'm going to throw both ounces of Bravo in at the first 60 minutes and do the Columbus in a later edition. And then, uh, and then throw the Glacier in at the very end. Um, and then probably dry hop it. Because I'll be out of Columbus and I'll be out of, I might dry hop it with, I got some Cascade. So I'm going to taste that next. So, uh. Yeah, I'm going to be grinding the grain mill tonight, so I'll have a video on that on the new pasta maker grain mill conversion. So if you need a grain mill and you want one for 40 bucks, and that's expensive, you can get them for less than that, but I, I had to pay 40 because they've taken them off a lot of the store shelves. People don't want to roll pasta by hand. They want the uber expensive uh, KitchenAid ones now. This is, uh, they you, you can get them for, if you're in the States, you probably go for 20 bucks. Um, they're about 20, 25 bucks. They used to be, Home hardware carries them up here in Canada. If you need one, you can order one through them for 38 bucks. Super easy. Now take nothing apart. Just knurled everything up with the rollers. With a drill. Stuck a drill in there and just knurled it up. And I made some lines across them. But I don't think you even have to do that. Uh, the knurling, I think, worked better. So I'm going to be uh, busting uh, 18 pounds of barley through it tonight. Videotaping it. If everything goes well, that video will be up... Uh, Probably tomorrow. And I just drank the Cacapa. Chicacabra Pale Ale. From Mexico. Pretty nice pale ale. I've been pretty happy with all of the Cacapa products. Uh, the Winter Imperial Stout and the Imperial Stout. Got a little bit here. Really enjoying this hot flavor. It's not over numbing. But there is so much uh, spicy... Uh, mild grapefruit with the spiciness overriding with kind of a very sharp bitterness. Really think that that's an ideal hop for double IPA or an IPA, but especially double because that's my favorite. I my one of my favorite beers is double IPA. So uh, and I have I'm sure that I have got this in plenty of double IPAs this hop or something very similar to it. Anyway. Wow, no, I just made a bird <laughs> taking a drink of this pale ale. Oh, I'm, I hope I can drink this beer. Because <laughs> I had the Runation at 100 plus IBUs, and it was pretty bad. You know what I mean? Like, not bad in a bad way, bad in a good way. I mean, like, it was badass. But uh, I think I could get, if that's all the bitterness that is going to happen, because that's 100 plus IBU, right? If that's all the bitterness that's going to matter, after a certain point, your mouth's numb anyway. I think I could maybe get a little more hot flavor in that. And I think this Columbus would be a perfect hop to do that with. So, Be a second! Eat hops from time to time!